Freddy, if you're ready. Mr. Miller, that's the man on the left of me, Mr. Ben Miller, in 2005 in Joplin, Missouri, who formed the band. Can you tell us some more? What did you have in your head? I, nothing. I, nothing at all. I, I didn't. I didn't form a band. It just. Um, I was uh, working at Walmart, you, and you it, were doing some things with your with your mate on your left. Yeah, I mean, well, it started out as open mic night. Like I, I was a. Uh, I was working at Walmart, and then at night I was going and playing open mic night, and then I started running open mic night, and then the musicians that I thought were good, I, I said, you know, I'm playing shows on weekends as well, you know, we, we can go split shows. And that's how I met Scott, and he came out. And then one day, he, uh, we, we would just go one after another. Scott, Scott's a guitar player don't, and singer, don't too. Don't forget, I think, Doug. Uh, 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 Bob. Yeah. Smiling Bob and Rachel. They came uh, yeah. later, about a year yeah. and a half ago. Yeah. yeah. But what brought you together? Was um, it the way you think about music, about the way your goal that you had? Yeah, I mean, all of that. Like, I, I, we we had been friends for a real long time. Uh, they, they played in another band, and we would played a lot of the same venues, and uh, we just knew that our musical styles were real similar, and that we understood music in the same way. And so it was when, when we had a lineup change about a year and a half ago, uh, it was a no-brainer. The first people we called was Bob and Rach. Okay. You cannot uh, summarize your sound in one word? Because you combine a lot of elements. Yes. There is folk, blues, bluegrass and country. Uh, when you uh, self-describe your sound, you are saying something about the uh, Ozark sound and mud stump, but please explain because we are music dummies. Well, I, <laughs> I don't, you're probably not music no, dummies. But, but please, I think, I think try I, to explain. Yeah. Um, well, the genres of music i think aren't really um they're not a classification system like people think they are you know people think that there's a classification system like this is country no. it's it's not really you always like try to do that yeah everybody yeah. wants to do that but i mean i understand it because people want to know what they're going to see at a show and so they're like should i go to this show or should i not should i buy the cd or should i not yeah. and so they want to have something that they can yeah. latch on to that's important you're yeah. right yeah um and so people even after our shows they would ask us what kind of music that we had just played and which and we didn't we, we didn't know so we made up an answer we just said ozark stomp because it was from the ozarks and it was kind of stomping music but the mud stomp but it wasn't because of the label Oh, the Mudstomp label, yeah. Mudstomp was a record label uh, from out of Oklahoma yeah. that uh, we first signed to. A yeah. uh, good group of guys. Yeah, and both yeah, yeah, we were both on that, on that record label. And they... they you, you agree with them? <laughs> huh? yeah. uh, our band was on it, too. Yeah. <laughs> Is your band a live band? A live a band? A typical live band? I don't know if it's typical. Oh, yeah, we're pretty yeah. atypical. <laughs> because... When, when you're talking about the uh, Ben Miller band, you want to see something. Yeah. Yeah. There's you know a, you're going to see something. A again. kind of ambience you know. the, the show. That's why I say, is your band a typical live band? Mm, I mean, the set yeah, list really. changes there at the show. Like, it's on the fly. It's, you know, no. there there's some structure to songs, but there's also some things that anything could happen. I can say that you are also happy to go <laughs> to the studio and to record some things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. I'll put on my next question. <laughs> <laughs> From the start until now, you have released, I think, four records. Can't, yeah. Yeah. Maybe yes. maybe five. When we first started, we we did one at home. Oh. Right. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, my problem. I just want. It, it, it's okay. It's like <laughs> okay, yeah. but your latest album, uh -huh. uh, anyway, shape or form, mm -hmm. was released in 2014. Yeah. Are you lazy guys? <laughs> no. Then, no. Sorry, I don't look to somebody <laughs> specific. <laughs> that that's why I said you're more a live band, yeah. touring band. Yeah. You don't, you don't like to go to the studio? We love to, but we have management that puts us on the how, road. How, how is the process of uh, songwriting? Who is, who is doing the songs? Who is 
Well, we can all write uh, at this point. Uh, we haven't ben really is had still time a major writer because there's been really no time, uh, and and Ben's a we he's pretty much he's just a prolific songwriter. Pretty much just recorded yeah. songs that were ready already yeah. when we joined the band. But it's a normal time, 2014. Okay, when we can live with that, no problem. It's, it's a long time. <laughs> There'll be another one soon. Yeah, yeah another one soon. Yeah. yeah. We had but, to we had to reform the band in the, in yeah. the middle of that. Yeah. So something about the title. Kind of slow, slowed us down a bit. Yeah, we had a, we had a lineup change. So. Something about the title. Yeah. Anyway, shape or form. Mm -hmm. That means you do just what you want to do. Well, pretty much. Yeah. It's. I think it's uh, originally a. It might be a like a legal term. It's people use it in the states as an idiom. It's. Uh, it just means. In legal documents, it means in any manner, yeah. and and people use it sort of in context you, of. You can't put your music in in a box or in a. It's just whatever the song asks for, whatever the song requires to get it across. It doesn't matter if it's Cajun or if it's blues or if it's country or if it's rock or, you know, all those things are. I mean, what kind of music did the Beatles play? Like, anybody know? You know, it, it's they just play good music. Do you think the album is different when you compare it with the previous one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she says yeah. I say yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, uh, how different? Uh, it's got a lot of different elements on it that weren't on the last one, I think. I read somewhere in a review, that's not my <laughs> words, but I read somewhere. Uh -oh. <laughs> Two cuts in this 30 songs set don't work. Huh? Two numbers in this. Oh, I thought you were talking about the one that we just recorded. Yeah. I don't know about the last album. I wasn't telling that one. So oh, is, I don't this, know. is this from a set? Yeah. That they were talking asked, about? I asked the, the big boss. I, I read somewhere in a review that two cuts in this 13 songs don't work. Which ones didn't they like? They. Uh, 23 Skydo and No War. Okay. I mean. Does that surprise you? I'm not surprised by what I mean. Do you know? Do you know? Or do you recognize the the remark? Or the, the I mean, I I don't like. You can't account for taste. Like people are going to like different things, and just because something doesn't, I mean, not a lot we, of we, people have asked and requested Twenty Three Skidoo. Like it they asked occasion. for it. <laughs> I don't say that. I've met songs. Yeah, yeah. I, I just say saying, that. and it's just. I, that, I'm just saying, like. I agree you with that. You understand we have to prepare taste. some questions yeah, and then yeah. I read something so, no, that's good. so I, I will check that. <laughs> no, just, and you have to understand. I, I, mean, I, can def I mean, I can defend it. Don't like, be surprised. I, <laughs> <laughs> that are the worst of a dummy. <laughs> it's, you're not hurting my feelings. Like, I mean, people tell me that they like something or that they don't like something. It's, it's fine. I mean, not everything's for everybody. Yeah. And uh, those songs weren't for them. That guy. One, yeah. one guy, <laughs> apparently. Forget, you know? Forget it. Ben Miller, the Ben Miller man is working for uh, almost 10 years. Well, uh, but in this form, we've only been one, one year and a half yeah. in, with this lineup. Yeah, yeah but overall, overall more, more years than 10 years. Yeah. 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 Him and well, Ben played for 15. 15. Something like that. If you could start again, oh, shit. what would you do different, the same? What won't you do again? Holy moly! Start again, no, that doesn't. I mean, that's a hard question because I think that, like, to ask that, like, even the things that I did wrong are led me to where I am right now, and yeah. then I I like where I am right now, and so like I, I who knows what would happen if I did the right thing? You yeah. know, I'd, yeah. I'm, I'd get someplace else that you're right, you're I might right. not like. I will ask the same question again, but <laughs> in another way. I'll give a different answer then. <laughs> what did you learn about yourself by being the Ben Miller man? I don't think I'm, I, I mean, I, I, um, I, I think I learned um, that I'm better, like, socially, I, I'm generally not very um, outgoing or extroverted, but, but being in the band, I, I sort of can, um, I think I relate to people better in large groups than I do one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. Sometimes I come off bad one-on-one. -on -one. You're all musicians. Mm-hmm. Not him. But you're all yeah, musicians. He is too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. You're all musicians, but what, what, what turns you on besides music? 
Scott, uh, yeah. the farmer. He likes Ooh. gardening. Yeah. He uh, works with bamboo as well. He's a bamboo. He makes uh, bow staffs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Do you have bamboo at home? Mm-hmm. Growing? Yeah. How big it's, are they? It's, oh, they only get about that big, but oh. it's, it's out of control. I was in it's, Vietnam some year, some, some year ago, but they were rude. Yeah, yeah, it, when there's huge. There? There's, yeah, there's some big ones out there. <laughs> when were you in Vietnam? What? I don't think you understood me. Uh, oh. when, 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 when did you go out to Vietnam? Oh. I think it was about four years ago. Oh, four, four or five years ago. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, about back, yeah. Scott Lieber, I have a special question for you. Mm-hmm. You're playing the bass, the bass. Mm-hmm. I must say the bass, yeah? It must be very difficult to play it your way. Yes, um, it's... What makes it possible to play it that way? Because you don't have... Yeah, I, I don't know other than to say it's a, a good ear. You don't, uh, you know, what do you call the, the things, the, fret, the, the fretless, the, 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 it's... <laughs> right, no, no frets. You hear something or feel something, but... Explain that, how, how do you play the, the bass? Um, when I pull back on the stick, it makes the string tighter, and that changes the note. Yeah. So eventually, you just learn that that scale, uh, which is uh, a sliding scale in the sense that the lower the notes, the smaller the distance in between. It's like the low ones are really close together, and the higher ones are a lot farther apart. So it's different. Yeah. As the one and only female <laughs> part of the band, we're pretty right? sure. Yes. How does that feel? <laughs> what does it? What do you mean? All these hairy, hairy guys. <laughs> are they gentle? Hmm. <laughs> 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 are they kind? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> she she uh, put it for me for most of her life, so she can put it um, for just I about anybody. Um, I have to change clothes more than they do, so uh, that's different. <laughs> more leggings, more uh, makeup. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have, I have to carry more things as far as what I travel with because I have more clothes, and uh, it takes me a little bit longer to. But you will stay. To get ready. <laughs> you will stay if you're long. Huh? You will stay if you if you Just a few, months, a few she, days longer. Oh yeah, <laughs> they uh they. I try my best to load gear, and I'm I'm stronger than I look, but I still, uh, they they still carry more of the heavy stuff. <laughs> we got your uh, latest uh, studio album. What are the plans for the near future? For the near future? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Jan- special things or uh, plans for a new album? Plans yeah. for special gigs or? Yeah, I mean the new album's ready to be released. Uh, the label doesn't want to release it until January. And so January 26th is when that'll be released in the Europe and in, and in the United States. And so that's that's really the big thing on the plate and getting those songs tight and um, trying to uh, even be better than the album on the live show. And so that's that's what we're doing. We're trying things out, noticing the audience reaction, and uh, mm-hmm. and really refining what the songs are. I told you that we are big friends of. Uh the people in uh, Aarschot, yes. or Jokke. Yeah. Why, yeah. why do you think that we are in Belgium so happy with the music of the Ben Miller Band? Uh, it's just really good taste in music. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure about that? I think people like the authenticity that comes across. Yeah, there's a better answer. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Flattery didn't work. There, hey, there's lots when, of beer you, there too, so that, that could have that an effect. Yesterday, the pub was oh, food. Yeah. That they drink a lot, so the more they drink, the better that that it's going to sound. Same mm-hmm. feeling, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just, yeah. I think that it, it comes across well, you know, in any any place we go. And Belgium's been really good to us. I think the people in Belgium are just. And we have a lot of concerts, we have a lot of uh, bands that come to play with us, but uh, yeah, yeah. we love music. Yeah. I have a last question. Okay. Question number 10, as usual, my last question. <laughs> what can we expect tonight? Um, boy, uh, is it a special set list of or what are you? How are you 
do your set? Man, I just I look at the crowd and you know it. I try not to um, think about what I'm going to play before I do it. You know, I just try to be present with them because really what I think is to me special about music live is that you're in a room with someone yeah. and you're having an experience together and they're really there and you're really there and it's not canned, it's not recorded, it's real people on both sides of the stage. If your okay. cake was a tree, what kind of tree would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that you can feel when the people are happy, that when, mm, yeah, when, yeah. when it's, it, uh, what do you call it, clicks? Yeah, easy. You feel that? Yeah, we feed, feed from the energy. Yeah. Okay. The Ben Miller Bands. Thank you again. This were my questions. All right. Thank you lots. Uh, and we hope to see you at all times back in Belgium. I hope so too. Not in Holland, but in Belgium. <laughs> hey, Holland's good too. <laughs> and it's not far, right? No, no, no. It's just two hours. <laughs> yeah.